today. Doctor, I'm peeing blood and there's pebbles coming out and I don't know what's wrong and it hurts really bad. Well, it sounds like you have kidney stones, but we can do a urine test to double check that. Well, what are kidney stones? Kidney stones are mineral deposits that are formed in your kidneys and they're caused by an excess of calcium, particularly oxalate, that's in your diet. It can happen from drinking an excess of vitamin D or having a lot of chocolate. I have been drinking a lot of milk lately. I do love me some moo juice. But since I'm peeing pebbles, does that mean you're going to have to cut my winky off? No, nobody's cutting your winky off. You just have to lay off your moo juice. And we're going to use mild interventions like pain medication, alpha blockers to relax your ureter muscles, and a lot of water. If we do need to do surgery on you, we'll probably put a stent in your urethra to help the larger kidney stones pass, but it doesn't sound like we need to do that at that time. Alrighty, thank you very much. Have a good day. You too. Dr. Piper, help me! I'm like really thirsty all the time. I'm always going to the bathroom, but I'm also really tired all the time, and my legs keep giving out because I'm really weak. What's wrong? I think I have lupus or something. What's up? Well, we can check for lupus, and you can do some DNA testing to see if you're predisposed for any genetic disorders. Well, the testing has revealed something worse than lupus. It's called nephrotitis. What? We'll just call it thirsty kidneys. All right. What this means is you have a genetic disorder that was passed down to you, and it has three subcategories: juvenile, infantile, and adolescent. Sorry, dog, I had a pee. Okay. We believe you have adolescence because of your age. We found cysts in your kidneys and fibrosis of your kidneys. All right, so what are we going to do to fix this, doc? Well, you need to have a balanced diet, exercising, and you need to come once a week so we can monitor the disease progression. Once a week? Yes. All right, doctor, whatever you say. Many uh, months later. Oh my God, I haven't seen you in months. I thought you expired. All right, Dr. Pepper, here's the deal. I just turned 20 the other month, and instead of partying and all that fun stuff, I was always puking or sleeping. Not fun. But I did get a tanning bed and some lotion for my skin because I'm pale all the time, just nasty. But I'm still always really thirsty, and I'm still very tired and very weak. So I think my lupus got worse. What's up? First, you don't have lupus. Second of all, you haven't been here in months. Have you been checking your blood pressure and eating right? <sighs> Hi, Steve. It looks like you've reached end stage renal disease most, much sooner than we expected. Your blood pressure is off the chart. It, the tests show that the filtration of your kidneys is very low. Your kidneys are basically working at 10% than a healthy kidney. And you're going to have to undergo dialysis to regulate the waste in your blood. What, what, what's going to happen, dog? What am I supposed to do now? Well, we can do some bone density tests to determine your disease progression. We can also, you, you're going to have to do dialysis several times a week to regulate your blood pressure, to get rid of the waste in your blood and all the salts, because your kidneys are only working at 10%. And you're gonna need a more restricted diet, more exercising, and maybe we can talk about a uh, transplant. Oh. All right, doctor, thank you. I'm gonna go lay down.